All right, stats class, let's look at this problem from the finding probabilities using the normal distribution. So on the TI calculator, if you see a problem that's asking you to find the probability, and then you also see the uh, phrase that it, it's normally distributed, then you need this DISTR menu that's above the VARS key. So notice mine's in blue. I would press second VARS and that's going to get me there. Now I want option number two, the CDF. Don't use the PDF, use the CDF. All right, and then it wants to know what's my lower number, what's my upper number, okay? Find the probability the weight will be less than 4316 grams, okay? So that means I'm going to let my lower number be some big negative number. So that negative one E99, you can just use that. Let me show you how to put that in if, it, if, if it's gone, if it's missing like the upper number is. You just type in negative one, and then there it's a double E on here. It's above the comma, so I'd press second comma, and then it's a nine nine. So there's, there's how you can get that back in there if it goes away for whatever reason. And then the upper number would be this one because it's the numbers that are less than this this is the biggest number that we would be dealing with. So 4316. All right, and then it wants to know what's your mean, what's your standard deviation. So the mean is 3463. And then notice what they're giving me here. This is variance. Recall, variance is the square of standard deviation. And what this is asking me for right here is the standard deviation. So I need to take the square root of this number. And to do that, you can actually do it within the calculator. Just press second the x squared button. If you look, there's the root symbol. And then you type in the variance. So 37, uh, 372,100. All right, I'm gonna close that parentheses, and then I'm gonna go down to paste. It's gonna paste it in, and then hit enter. And there is our probability. All right, it wants me to round this to four decimal places. So 0 0.91, and then it's 899, so that would be nine zero. All right, if you have a TI-83 instead of a TI-84, the only difference is it won't give you that menu. So let's look at this very similar problem. Same place, second VARS, normal CDF. All right, it doesn't ask you what's the lower number, what's the upper number here. So now you have to type it in manually yourself. So the weights, uh, same, same thing as before, normally distributed, the mean is 3798. There's the variance. So less than 4077. Uh, so again, I could do for less than, that means there is no lowest number, and the first thing I put in is the lower number. So I could do the negative one. Again, it's second comma, the double E's there, E99. But I could also just, I just want you to understand, you can put in any really big negative number. So instead of having to remember where that EE button is, you could always just do a negative and then just put a bunch of nines. That's perfectly fine to do it that way as well. All right, comma, that's going to be our number where the distribution ends the mean goes next so the 37 98 and then finally the variance again that's the square root uh, the standard deviation is the square root of variance so i take the square root is the 64 5 16 close that parentheses and then just hit enter it's not pasting anything it's just immediately finding the probability for us all right, once to round to four places again, there's the fourth place. Again, that's a nine, that's a nine, so we'll round this up to a four zero. And there's our answer. Okay, so as long as you remember the order, lower number, upper number, mean uh, variance, which, I mean, sorry, standard deviation, which is the square root of variance, you'll, you'll get these right. And that's the one thing about the 83, though, it does not ask you what's the lower number, what's the upper number, what's the mean. You have to remember the order, and it goes that way every time.